you are most welcome my beautiful fashionistas today we are making this short jumpsuit and it has no joining at the waistline so we are cutting the top piece and the trouser part together so guys if this is your first time here kindly subscribe to Yvonne Winifrey UG and hit the notification bell I'm telling you you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video so guys without any further ado let's just go into the video and see the whole process of how this jumpsuit came into existence so the fabric is here it is folded into two and it's it, the length just goes up to a little bit above the knees so first off i marked three inches for this size i marked three inches and i marked this center front i left three inches from the start and i marked the center front so guys this is the shoulder line and from this shoulder line I went down by half of the armhole measurement which is 8 inches for the chest line and again from the top there I went down by 17 inches this is the chest line and 17 inches I marked the waist line so after that I marked the hip measurement I'm working with which is 40 inches by 4 I got 10 and I just added one and a half inches and I got what we call the crotch line so from this center front here i just you know got in the crotch line so guys to start off all the other markings half of the shoulder line is seven and a half i added half an inch because i will be adding sleeves and i marked eight inches and i marked that same eight inches at the chest line just as you've seen and connected this line which we are going to use to carve out the armhole so on top here i'm going to cut off one inch you know i mark it down and whatever i'm remaining with which is seven inches i'm going to get the half of that which is three and a half inches and at that three and a half inch mark i'm going to move in by half inch so that i mark out a perfect front arm hole like this so guys again i go back at that midpoint uh, and i cover out the back arm hole just like that simply so now moving on i just divide this is the center front by the way i divide the bust measurement by four and whatever i get i add just the sewing allowance and i mark it down i also divide the waist measurement by four whatever i get i add sewing allowance and if you want some ease allowance you can add some half an inch or a quarter inch and i mark it down same at the hip at the crotch line here i divide the hip measurement by four i added one and a half inches sewing and is allowance and then i can just connect these points so simple like that so now i'm going to to just you know straight up straighten that line up to the hemline like that and guys from where the hip line stopped I have to increase it for the crotch measurement so guys i just divide again the hip measurement by four whatever i get i divide that also by four and i got two and a half inches and i marked it there but if you considered your thigh measurement you can also mark half of that along this crotch line and then carve out the crotch like that simply so guys i just divided the knee measurement by two and then connected those two points like that but if you have a pant curve use it because this place is not all that straight that's why i used my my ruler like that and curved it so for the neckline i'm working with three inches by three inches for the front 
and then i will use one inch for the back depth and guys remember we have to cut out this piece and we need joining allowance it will be joined in the middle at the center front so before i forget i added the half inch for the joining allowance at the center front as you see and connected the points and after uh, afterwards i i carved out the neckline like this simply like that so um i just connect the shoulder to the one inch slant because the shoulder is never straight so you have to slant it by one inch and then add half an inch as the joining allowance at the shoulder line there so guys i decided to add another half inch at the front here along the inner thigh or the inner leg and then i subtracted half an inch at the side to shape the, the piece like that and now i can cut all the markings so that i get two pieces for the front all along this piece was already folded into two because we need two front pieces and guys i'm going to use this piece to cut out the back so first off i've cut the back armhole as you see the front is still there i'll correct it later so this is what i have and i'm going to use it to cut the back pieces and there will also be two so here we are folded another piece into two as you see and i've placed my front pieces on top to guide me as i mark the back piece so guys what i've done after placing the front i added some zipper allowance at the center back there of half an inch remember we already have half an inch at the front for joining the center front so all together have one inch for the back and along the crotch i increased it by two inches for this particular measurement or size and i went down by quarter inch half inch thereabout and increased the two inches up to the hemline like that and that is simply what we have for the back so if you want you can increase along that uh crotch uh, you know to for your for your bum bum you know to fit but i just left that and just increased only along the crotch line and afterwards i cut it out like this considering this zipper allowance and that's all about the back so i'm cutting it out and we'll be seeing what next so now i can even cut this front neckline So simply, this is what I have. Two pieces for the back. So guys, bringing back our front piece. This is the front. I think you've seen at the neckline. I'm just, I'm just going to drop the neckline uh, to about six and a half inches. And I mark here along the neckline. I'm going to mark about half inch or quarter inch and then connect like that just as you see me but i will do that later after joining up the two front pieces i just wanted to show that to you and then i carve out my front arm hole like that so now i can simply cut the sleeve so the sleeve it was so simple the usual sleeve I used the length of about 12, 13 inches there about with all the allowances needed and it is 8 inches which is half of the armhole measurement plus 1 inch which is the sewing allowance. So guys, first off I mark the cap's height. Cap's height is gotten by dividing your bust measurement by 12 like that and in this case I just used 4 but then I anyway afterwards i connect that line and mark the half of the armhole measurement which is eight inches then connect a diagonal line to the 
point uh, to the apex like that mark its midpoint guys and then go up by half inch and then carve out the back armhole like this they are different and afterwards from this apex i connect with the curve to the midpoint and then also with the curve from the midpoint to the full length of the sleeve or the full width and then i take off the sleeve opening i think i used seven inches because the sleeve goes up to the elbow like that and then simply cut out remember we folded to get two pieces of sleeves of sleeves <laughs> we are getting two sleeves from this and don't forget to notch the midpoint of the sleeve at the top and then i open up the sleeve and get and then cut the front armhole so guys that's all about the sleeves and to sew i'll start with the sleeves i'll hem the sleeves as you see double folding and then the straight stitch and now i'll join the center front by half an inch and also for the back i'll just join along the crotch because we have to add a zipper at the top there along this crotch i'll join like this and that will be all so guys after all that sewing this is what i have i've joined this front as you see and remember i told you we have we have to to elongate our neckline so after joining i'm going to mark i marked quarter inch and i marked a curve just as you see up to where the the joining started from at the six inch mark and then cut that out so that we shape out the neckline like this so this is what we have i'm just going to cut the facings now for the front and the back and this is what i have uh, the height of this facing is about three and a half inches for both front and back and i will just place it like this right sides facing each other and join by half an inch i will do the same even for the back guys and after i will join the front with the back along the shoulder line with half an inch and this is what i came out with i also joined the sleeves already so this is what i have simply so far the neckline is already finished very well for the front and back and uh, the sides are still open and the inner leg is also still open so guys remember we have the pockets on this jumpsuit so these are the pieces of pockets they are four two for each side one for each side of the front and back so guys uh, i'm going to mark around two inches after the after the waistline and that is where i'm going to place my pocket pieces i will sew by a quarter inch because i left half an inch for joining so i'll join them on either sides of front and back like that and then i'll take my jumpsuit and finish it up at the inner leg there or along the crotch by half an inch on the wrong side guys finish up the hemline take up the sides sewing all together and if you want you can even create a two thousand years later and this is what i came about so guys the pocket pieces i used were seven inches by nine inches seam allowances included this is the jumpsuit finished i like what i see this is how the back came about also the zipper is already finished so these are the pockets and i have just added a belt as you see so these are my pockets 
and this is the back this is how the zipper looks like so simply that is all about the short jumpsuit just make sure you add some more inches when you're making such a jumpsuit so that it fits you very well remember we didn't uh, raise the back waistline so you have to raise your crotch so thank you so much for watching see you next time